Uh, yeah, my name's Chris Smith. I'm the lead designer on Valkyrie. What new content are you introducing this year at eFanFest? Well, the big announcement's obviously that we've changed engine, so we're now in UE4. Um, and we've announced um, new uh, roles for ships. So today you guys have seen the fighter. Um, there's much more depth to the fighter now, and we can talk about that in a bit. Um, but we're also announcing, and you guys over the few next few months, you'll start hearing about the heavy and the support. Um, we're not talking about our new game mode either yet. We're going to keep teasing you guys as we go forwards. Um, so we've got UE4. Um, we've got uh, a brand new map for you guys to try. It's obviously on the DK2 headset and the Morpheus at the show, which is amazing to have both manufacturers here. I think there's only 17 DK2s in the world and we have nine here and I don't think there's many more than four Morpheuses in the world and we have those here as well, so lots of support. Um, other new features is a lot of um, artistic upgrades. Um, we have a new cockpit, we have a new, uh, the weapon systems have been upgraded, the HUD's been, been changed uh, to be more user-friendly, so lots of upgrades everywhere basically. Last year, the EVR had just one ship type, and can you get into more detail about the different types of ships you have incorporated into Valkyrie? Okay, so as I said, we can't actually go into details, but what I can do is say what the um, design philosophy has, has changed. Um, last year, we did experiment with a, uh, a heavy and a, um, I believe we sort of called it the, the sniper, essentially. Um, those ended up feeling like the fighter but just a variant of the fighter, like a, oh, a bigger, slower fighter. Oh, a fighter that can move super quick and is super accurate. It, it didn't feel like there was actually a role on the battlefield that, that these had that, that differentiated them between themselves. So what we've uh, announced this year is that we're um, coming up with the concept of, of uh, roles as opposed to classes. Um, what a role is, is an active, tactical, um, uh, job, if you will, on the battlefield that is distinctly different to the other roles. Um, and within each of those roles, we have a system called loadouts, which are essentially variants on that class. And examples um, that we talked about so far are things like a more lone wolf setup, which has more devastating guns and more and faster boosts, versus a more team oriented fighter that has countermeasures that could actually take missiles, uh, defend missiles from. Uh, other ships around you, so you sort of have this support role and team role versus a more sort of lone wolf. So um, uh, the combination of having actually active different roles on the battlefield and what the heavy does and what the support does, we'll be announcing soon. Um, the fighter is a fighter. It's out there to kill, it's out there to destroy, and uh, people will notice when they play the game that the cockpit is designed that way. It's designed as a predator. It's forward facing. You know, what you see, the, the guns, you know, they almost block out your, your view to the sides, but they also been replaced by giving you information. Um, on the side you'll see a, a cooldown meter, that the guns are deeper now. They can actually, they're more efficient when you first start firing and they do overheat, so uh, more pro players as you get a better pilot, you can do more devastating damage with the same weapon. So it's this level of granularity on each weapon and ability um, that is focused to being a fighter. So uh, again, cockpit, very predator. Um, so those are, those are the sort of roles we're doing right now. And I'm sorry I can't talk about the heavy. It is like my biggest frustration of this show that I can't just sit here and go, and the heavy does this and you combine it with this with the fighter and when, when you bring a support in you can do that and this is how you tactically do that element. Um, sadly, all I think goes, the fighter is awesome and we hope you enjoy it.